Hello everyone and thank you for joining me in this new episode of The Boys Season 3. So I am watching the videos one after the other because I really don't want to get spoiled. Every time I, I open YouTube I see so many videos speaking about The Boys uh, next episode that I know I have to record before I get absolutely spoiled So like I said, I'm just recording them as they come and as soon as I get a chance I will um, Edit them. I'm actually right now editing the first episode even though I'm about to watch the fourth. That's pretty bad So as you could see uh, I got Robin sitting right next to me and Flash is uh, in front of us Homelander is becoming the monster that we always knew he could become. Uh, A-Train is making a very, very strong effort to try to reconnect with his roots and stuff because he doesn't have the same power that he used to have. He knows it, um, Homelander knows it, and he knows that his position is in jeopardy. Uh, Starlight, on the other hand, is feeling alone. She has to put up with Homelander and she's doing this because Hugh is asking her to do it because she knows that there's really not much room where to go to and the only person that seems to be right next to her that is really supporting her is this other superhero whose name I totally forgot. Um, I don't know about his intentions, I have to be honest. I am not 100% sure that he's not with some ulterior motive um, in this support that he has for uh, Starlight. We know that no character here is perfect. On the other hand, we see that the boys are on the hunt for Soldier Boy. I totally missed uh, because the guy was wearing a mask. I'm not a follower of Supernatural, but I totally missed that this was one of the Supernatural boys. Uh, Jensen Neckel or something like that. His name, I can't remember him. I'm not a big fan, but I do like the guy. I mean, he's pretty cute. I even recognize the powder guy uh, before I could recognize him because I really like the powder guy. Not on powder though, but I think he's really cute. We already learned about Edgar's and Victoria's relationship, and I think that this is a very dangerous uh, liaison, uh, but it's a very old one because he got uh, Victoria ever since she was a child. So of course her loyalty resides completely with Edgar. I don't know so much about Bot, but I'm pretty sure that she's working for them because she was very adamant in blaming Bot in season two, and I think this was more like a misdirection kind of strategy. So I do believe that she is totally defending Pod. Mother's Milk is super interested in getting Soldier Boy because he's the one responsible for killing his family. So I'm kind of like, I'm expecting him for him to lose it at some point because of how important this is for him. For today's episode, I got Oreo cookies. It just broke. For today's episode, I got Oreo cookies and some iced coffee. So let's get this done. <laughs> what the shit? Breaking the arm was the funniest thing. If you believe the rumors, it's the thing that killed Soldier Boy. This is our best chance to kill Homelander. So Soldier Boy's not dead, dead, is he? I mean, nobody saw the weapon arc working or anything. We are to Russia. Are they really going to Russia? Francois Sabah, Flash ain't no dude. Why do they have to also become artists? Like, okay, like I understand that we get bombarded with, you know, superhero in the past 20 years, but I never saw Spider-Man singing. I never saw Iron Man doing a tap dance number or anything like that. So, I mean, this is taking it to the extreme. I do like many of the, um, you know, this parodies that they make from some things like, the hashtag release the bot version or the Thanos uh, theory with Ant-Man and all of that. They're making parodies, but this thing about making them singers, I don't know. It's way out of the of the charts for me. Can he shoot you dead? Can he oh man, he can't dead? stand him. Oh, come on, Mother's Milk, you have to take it easy. What is that? I don't want to know what was that. Wait, wait, do, do, do the others know? 
No, they do not. And if they find out... You better not tell them. I'll put you in a fucking coma. What would this show be without Butcher? What would this show be without Carl Urban? He's beautiful. They're everywhere. Even inside a vault. Sorry, they were out of vote. Yeah, but Vought is inside everything. He's testing boundaries. And when that happens, you have to discipline them like, well, like a parent would. Like with Zoe. Zoe won't rip my spine out. Let's not overreact. I think he's also underestimating uh, Homelander. Homelander might bark a little, but he won't bite. He's still afraid of me. Well, he didn't hurt Stillwell's son. Let anything happen to you or Zoe. So do we know who So's father is? Yeah, yes, of course. But even Victoria scares shitless of Homelander. <gasps> I love Hello? her blouse! Why well, you not tell me he's so delicious? He's incredibly delicious. His cassoulet made me come. Still a bit okay. We offered him a better home, didn't we? Like he was a fucking so, pet. So you filmed a couple of punters from the interior ministry having a right on frolic under your golden shower. Ugh. That's to cover Cherie's debt. A hundred grand for your troubles. It's so easy when you got the money, isn't it? And what would ease your pain? Sherry. No. <laughs> no. That way. is all. I want. You and I, we're just getting started here. What is he going he on? He's a Frenchie. He's trying to save Cherry, you idiot. Shut up. Up. Hashtag home life. You cost When's it air? Let me save you for once. It'll work. I well, love well. these two together. Uh... Fuck. My Vought Sonic speaker set up. I'm sorry, how did you get in? Well, I have a key. What? I've got to keep an eye on my best girl, right? By the way, you're a sound sleeper, Starlight. Don't look at you two. I'm kidding. This is... Come on, <laughs> right now. I'm joking. <laughs> Fucking idiot, then how did well, you get in? Go. Don't you worry, Yui. This little love affair is strictly... He's okay. <laughs> signing his cast. Well, that's, what I a mean, douchebag. What's she like? Is she a good fuck? He looks identical to his father now with a bit of beard Ooh. and an angry face. Touch. I'll call you later. Huey has balls of steel. Best homelander. Blue Hawk. Beautiful Who calligraphy. Blue Hawk? I think Vought has a responsibility here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like she cares. Right. Black Lives Matter is my favorite hashtag. My Insta, nothing but black screens. And look at you. Hey, Trey, where are you going? I'm almost ready to shoot. This is important. Oh, <laughs> this is the Kylie Jenner. <laughs> Then you are not arrived. <laughs> you stopped training. Yeah. You also hear that I wake up six days a week, hungover, tits deep in some random fuck pile. People think what I want them to. Okay. Mm, that's good. Whatever. You really care that little about yourself? She feels like she's got nothing else to lose. Oh, wow. That <laughs> looks pretty savage. Oh, that's... It's pretty wild. Oh, Russia. They're already there. Nice! No, he has to put up with that. Even if he doesn't speak any Russian, he can totally get it. Sorry, love. Victim of your own success. She's the only soup. That is exactly what you are. He's a leader. 
a terrible leader, but he is anyway. But how he's been acting lately. He's invincible. There might be a way. Okay, it's safer if you don't know how, but we need your help. She's There's disclosing me. way too There's much. Me. If we probably need She's four or five more. Stupid, you don't tell him that. She is sharing way I'm too so much. Sorry, Alan. Why are you so nice to me? Isn't it obvious? You're the only girl I've ever loved, Annie January. Oh, Alex, I'm sorry. I, 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 I no, it's just he, me and Huey. I'm fucking with you. Get over yourself. You really think my grandmother is gonna let me marry the whitest girl in all of white? <gasps> you asshole. Yes, that's what I always say to me. Okay. York, they always play with my emotions. Welcome aboard, Supersonic. We're all so pleased to have you here, especially your former lover, Starlight. So in your honor. Awkward. Okay, meeting is over. And I love him. Base is Blue Hawk. Can you really afford to look soft on crime? Correct. He needed a brain. He needed a brain. The wife was the best choice that church could have given him. Hey, come here for a sec. How difficult is to get close to this man? Well, how about I tell Homelander who really leaked all that Nazi shit on Storm? How about I tell him you fished the Flight 37 video out in the Atlantic? Oh, wow. How do they know? How do they know? No! The F! Stop fighting! Fuck him. Stop. What if he hears you? Yeah. Oh, man. It will be so scary. He's gonna lure him in. That shit you pulled with Ryan, and now this cold hearted shit you said to Kamiko? How could anybody yeah. be such a complete asshole? Practice. You knocked the <laughs> doorstep. I'm not gonna tolerate your bullshit anymore, man. I love Mother's Do you remember milk. when we met? I love him Honestly. so much. That's straight talking. Monica. And to the man, they said that you were the one that held that platoon together. Aww, a natural beautiful. born leader. Cause no matter how hard I gotta be, you're here to look after the boys. He's the mitigation so to do that. <laughs> agent. Oh, French is eating his heart out. Yeah, Kimiko, go get that. You know. Oh, girls are totally passed out. Uh, <sighs> Homelander star spangled bender. The jeep flounder pounder. Black noir silent screamer. This is even scarier than if it had been weapons. But I kind of think she's gonna use them as weapons and this is even scarier. Oh my goodness. I Yeah, of course. Wait a I imagine it was gonna be five. Oh my goodness, what did I just watch? <gasps> Please spit that. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, oh. She's scared. And he's there Good to show support. Thank you all for being so. here. Homelander has bravely come forward as a whistleblower and provided evidence of crimes committed within bot by CEO Stan Edgar. And in the coming... ...will be investigating charges of blackmail, perjury, and obstruction of justice against Mr. Edgar. What did you do? This is a superhero company. Always has been. Belongs to us, he not him. probably threatened the girl, so Zoe. It's the dawn of the seven. So bad. This is so bad. Why? All these years you weren't protecting me. I was protecting you. I have to look out for Zoe. He threatened Zoe. It's like this script was written by a room full of chapped ass monkeys. Am I right? <laughs> it's so bad. 
Um, I wrote it. <laughs> Is your idiot brain getting fucked by stupid? No, that's not rhetorical. Answer me. She's trying to be a monster too. Yes. Then I would have to punish you. How would you punish me? Are you kidding me? What's wrong with her? That's punishment, honey. What is going on? My idiot brain is getting fucked by stupid ma'am. See? Told ya. Easy peasy. Of course she's pissed. Of course he's pissed. But dude, this is teamwork. If you want a cherry alive, that's what it took. I love her back into her PJs and funny socks. Uh, no, he didn't. He didn't sell you. You're there for a reason. Oh. I love those two together too. Of course. Hey. Okay. Heavy flow day? <laughs> Kidding. <sighs> you thinking of popping my melon? Who knows? Give it a whirl. Of course you can't. It's any consolation. He was ready to do exactly the same to you. What's this? Just a little oppo research that I borrowed from Edgar's office. How do you think I found out you were one of us? This isn't his, this is someone else. What are you doing? He's doing B. What if Huey took B? That would be nice to see if he ever took B. I want to try some. <gasps> Don't! That'd be daft. Of course he's Shit, daft. Course I want to try like too. No Wait, put your please, please. I don't please. know. I don't know. This Should he right get B? I, so I definitely think he should get B. It's no power. It's punishment. You don't deserve none of it. What did you do? Yeah. I think he's gonna get me some way. From Annie, maybe. Unbelievable. 80 over 60. Your entire life is imploding. And he just read his blood pressure. John wow. What did you give her? A little respect, Stan. Something you should have given me. What good would that do? Where would it even go but to the bottomless, gaping pit of insecurity you call a soul? Ooh. Looking for my approval, like I'm your daddy. Eventually, probably soon, the world will recognize you for the pitiful disappointment you are. You are not worthy of my respect. Because he knows he's incredibly insecure. He touched the point that he knew he's insecure about. He's a bloody genius. Did the same thing to me, and I'm all right. Does she have any power? I mean, pretty sure she does, doesn't she? Forever. Okay. Okay. Oh, she's gonna start her on B. <laughs> How painful! Red Dawn, motherfucker. Red Dawn. Rocky Four, motherfucker. <laughs> Soldier Boy. Oh no. I thought it was gonna be Soldier Boy in it. Oh. Are you okay, Jamie? No, no, don't fuck with it, just leave. Probably it's a soup chinchilla. <laughs> Who's a handsome petit little gerbil? I feel he's gonna Perhaps. fucking start going mutant. Real. Oh shit. Oh, feed up here. Of 
permission. Bulletproof, baby. Yep. That's better for you. I'm sorry. <laughs> His hand is cured. And he's angry. Why? How did this happen? Oh, she say, why do you do this to yourself on purpose? Only lasts 24 hours, all right? Break glass in case of emergency. But sure, I'm... Look, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, okay? It's just, I... He's gonna <laughs> beat you to death with temporary V. Yeah. But he got a killing joke death. I'm pretty sure that's Soldier Boy and not a weapon. Give her Monko, V. Monko, Monko. No! Kimiko, it's over, butcher. No! Come on, Kimiko! Hold her head up, Frenzy. She's not. I, uh, I have a view I really want to show you. It's gonna blow you. Oh, that's so scary. Alex! Oh my god! You f a train told me about you two mutineers and your little plot. You just what? don't get it, do you? I mean, you have no fucking grasp. Fucking a train! From here on out, there is only my dutiful, loving, main squeeze, Starlight, alone. Because if you step one inch out of line, I mean, if you so much as fucking blink the wrong way, then that will be Huey. Oh my god, no! Got me. Got me pretty bad. Fucking A train. Now it's deep sucking onto Homelander and now A train. He found leverage there because he knew that even combining everyone, there was no way they were could take against Homelander, you know. They may have had a chance with Stormfront, but now she's gone. Um but now I think the weapon that they're gonna have to use against Homelander is Soldier Boy, considering that the damage he did to Kimiko is apparently permanent. So probably he is a super weapon for soups. Like they can only damage soups. That's what I'm understanding. So probably this is what they're gonna use against Homelander. I really, it, hope Kimiko gets okay like she has these powers to regenerate but they're not working and if she dies this is gonna be super bad this episode almost always about the fourth episode is kind of important where really really bad things happen this is Kimiko's apparent death I don't know if she really dies um, Huey and Butcher getting superpowers that's huge um, Alex dying and this kind of threat that uh, Homelander is telling uh, Starlight. This is probably the worst thing that now he's threatening Huey. She loves Huey and she's gonna have to step away both Maeve and Starlight. Uh, I don't know what he's gonna do to Maeve. Um, oh wait, no. He said that he that he told him about these two doing mutiny. So apparently he didn't say anything about Maeve. Maybe that was, but she did tell him. Oh, yeah, but she didn't tell A Train. The thing is that she did 
spread a lot of information. I was really thinking that Alex was going to be, you know, he, he was going to be against Starlight, but I was totally wrong. The thing is that he was a vehicle to get against uh, Starlight. So not in the way that I thought it was going to be. He was t totally innocent. That was... The thing is that I always get blindsided uh, with this uh, show. When I think something really bad is happening, it's a dream. Um, and at this time, I really expect that... Kim oh man, Kimiko cannot die. I mean, she needs to get her own voice. You know, she she she's... Oh, I, I just can't stand the fact that she might have actually be dead. And then I'm going to have to wait until next week to find out. Uh, anyway, there are so many things. A lot of betrayal. A-Train's betrayal, Victoria's betrayal. But we know that this is mostly because of an instinct of survival. I mean, Victoria is a terrible person. And I don't want to feel sorry for her because she was a total monster like you know using people killing other soups um hiding her identity um but what she told edgar was absolutely right that she, he was not protecting her she was protecting him and that was absolutely true i remember hercule poirot saying that when your opponent loses and still has the ability to smile you should definitely fear that person and Edgar Vaud was smiling even though Homelander had already won by telling him the truth and hitting him right in his insecure spot. Uh, I think Huey did make a very very big mistake by taking uh, the temporary V against uh, Butcher's will. I mean I thought it would be cool but now seeing the repercussions like he's gonna get hooked on V, which is not an impossible thing considering that, uh, you know, A-Train had an addiction and his girlfriend had an addiction and all of that. So it is addictive. And um, obviously this is going to affect both Butcher and Huey. They're going to be sharing the same problem. And the problem with this is that by taking V, Butcher and Huey are in same you know, now they could be even if they should, you know, you know, pick up a fight. And they also get a way to defend themselves from Homelander, like, you know, surprise, in a surprise attack. Because as far as I know, he doesn't know about Temporary V, which is probably the only card under uh, Edgar's um, sleeve. Because I don't think that either uh, Homelander nor Victoria know about Temporary V. And now the boys have two weapons uh, in their favor. One would be the Temporary V and the second would be Soldier Boy. Now I don't think they'll be able to take Soldier Boy with them and use him as a weapon against um, Homelander considering that Mother's Milk is going to be totally against it. Now if they actually broke up the way that it seems to have been with what um, mother's milk said then this is going to be a lot harder for a uh, butcher to bring soldier boy back i think that if huey speaks to victoria and kind of convinces her that they need to bring him back to destroy homelander then probably we got a possibility there i think nina is not gonna let this weapon go away she's probably gonna want uh you know a slice of the cake so probably she's gonna be another uh you know another bump in the way I don't know how Starlight is going to take the fact that Huey can also become a superhero. And what I think happened is not that they finished the three doses. I think Butcher used half a dose and Huey used the other half. Because if they finished all the V, the temporary V, then they're pretty much fucked. Anyway, this was a really incredible episode. I really, I'm, you know, I'm eager to watch the next one. So, there are so many things happening. Ah, man, I, I was really into this one. So, anyway, thank you for joining me in this episode. I'll see you in the next one. I am so sorry that I'm going to have to probably show half of this episode blurred because of how much blood and silent because of how much good music was in this that I cannot share. Anyway, so, I'll be here for next week. You guys take care. I'll see you in the next one. And... Bye-bye.